Chronicles of the Goddess of the Condor. Five plus Conan comrades, with private settings and magical modifications from worldview to main storyline, no female lead, with a winery vest, the protagonist enters Conan's world with a P5 game interface, so the P5 original character will not appear, excuse me, Mr. Stranger, do you have any evaluation of the new life? It's impossible to cheat, it's impossible to cheat in this life. People die faster than I save them, and only by developing a good impression can we sustain our lives like this. It feels like going home to Mihua Town, where everyone in the distillery is talented and speaks well. I really like the people here. Keywords of the novel The Strange Thief of the Heart But Conan has no pop-ups, The Thief of the Heart. But download the complete Conan TXT, Heart Thief. But Conan's latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Heart Thief. But Conan. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Heart Thief. But Conan, thank you for taking the Tokyo Metro. This tram is heading to Shibuya Station. This train is down for Shibuya. The soft and flat female voice awakened Tang Ze from his sleep. As soon as Tang Ze opened his eyes in a daze, he instinctively tightened the muscles in his back and instantly regained consciousness. This is not his bedroom, he was clearly lying in his warm bed the moment before. Realizing this, he immediately took a light breath and kept his head up at a natural speed, scanning left and right for a week. The streetcar, crowded with people on its shoulders, with advertisements and slogans attached to its interior compartment, the slight shaking and regular noise of hitting the tracks during operation, and bright sunlight shining through the large windows onto him. Tram, this is a running Japanese tram, and he Tang Ze lowered his head and secretly looked at himself. A light blue crisp jacket, a white shirt, and a dark green tie looked like the school uniform of a certain school, while he was currently wearing a black commuter bag with both arms. He opened the bag chain and glanced at the umbrella, eyeglass case, ledger, tissue, pencil case, wallet, which were very standard daily necessities for students. There was also a black folder in the inner pocket, and Tang Ze used his spare light to look at the passengers who were silent and playing with their phones. However, he didn't take it out and flipped it over directly. He just opened it and used his fingertips to pick up the paper inside. Reluctantly reading the header of the document, Tang Ze was as excited as a phone call. Notice of dropout and notice of protection, observation and punishment. He, who had just saved half of the saved three weeks before going to bed, immediately reacted. He should, perhaps, be dressed as the protagonist of Persona 5. Isn't this the P5 opening cutscenes animation? Tang Ze's mood is very complicated. A bit hopeful and a bit confused, it seems like he should be happy, after all, the plot is really back dot to dot back, but he doesn't know what to be happy about, after all, his future is still a bit bleak. But if it's P5, shouldn't his school uniform be black? What is this outfit now? Tang Zedding calmly took out his wallet and prepared to search for more evidence about his identity. There are tens of thousands of yen banknotes in the wallet, and when opened, you can see the student ID card inserted in the transparent side pocket. As soon as he saw the card clearly, Tang Ze's mind let out a buzzing sound, and his pupils trembled. Student ID of Emperor Dan High School Academic Year Group Second Grade Group B Name Karasawa Akira on the left side was a 2-inch ID photo, and the boy with light brown hair and blue eyes looked expressionlessly ahead. A very handsome face with a beautiful appearance, but the round and bright cat eyes at the end of the eyes and the raised eyebrows give this young face a sharp and aggressive look. It's strange, it's strange, like the appearance of his own face mixed with the face of the P5 protagonist. Simply put, if they had a child, they should look like this. Tang Ze looked quietly at the boy in the photo. With the stinging radiation in the back of the brain, some fragmented memory images quickly flashed past my eyes. The deserted alley in the deep night, the dazzling headlights of the car, the young woman calling for help, 
and the middle dot aged man with a face full of alcohol and a red face collided with the flower bed on the roadside in the midst of arguments and pushing. Then there were red and blue police car warning lights, and the interrogation room was like an operating room without a shadow. The cold lights were glaring, and the wooden hammer falling in the quiet courtroom made a loud echo that's right, it's really P5 setting. He has now become a young criminal who acted bravely but was falsely accused and sentenced to serious injury. He has left home alone and arrived in Tokyo to complete a one-year protective observation punishment, which is equivalent to continuing normal social life under supervision during the probation observation stage. His performance during this period will determine whether he needs to go to the juvenile detention center to serve his sentence. But what's going on at Daidan High School? If he were to enter the world of science, how many years would he have to observe and protect based on their annual income? Sadness, it's very sad. Thanks to his excellent facial expression management skills, Tang Zhe didn't show a very distorted expression. He just pursed his lips, took out his phone from his bag, opened the front camera, and looked at his current face. Perhaps it was because the cat's eyes were tender, and the boy with brown hair in the camera looked a little younger than his actual age. He was 15 or 16 years old, with fluffy brown hair hanging down to his cheeks, and his eyes were light and full blue, which made his pupils shine brightly. Due to the mental blow he had just received, he is now frowning with a distressed expression, and his straight lips are bulging his cheeks. Okay. I'm quite good that looking, but a bit cute. Tang Zhe, who was actually one turn older, sighed and turned off his camera in a weathered manner. What should I do? I've already worn it, can I jump out of the car and commit suicide now? People must always live. Exiting from the phone desktop, as expected, I saw a red and black icon for the navigation app in the center. A red eye was hollowed out on the graffiti background composed of red and black lines, as if gazing at Tang Zhe outside the screen. I poked and didn't react. Just poke again. Tang Zhe, who had fought six or seven times in a row, gave up and turned off the screen. Garbage software can't be opened or deleted, it's tiring. Let's destroy it. I don't know if he inherits his own three-week save now, even if the attributes are not added to him, can he bring over the entire persona book that he has been using for a long time? With the ball, the script has been sewn up, and it's a bit inhumane for him to dry up in the consciousness space for a lifetime. At the moment when he silently accused, everything around him suddenly fell silent. The thief in black turned around and captured the scene, revealing the familiar P5 system interface in front of him. Tang Zhe stared blankly at the interface in front of him and instinctively reached out to click on the prop option. Wow! Tang Zhe exclaimed in surprise when he saw the full prop rack. The multi-weekly save of P5 will not inherit content such as character level, but will bring all the equipment, money, and mask records synthesized from previous weekly saves in the prop column. That's great, he's in full form for three weeks. He can hold on now. He is still very wealthy now. This is the three-week target level where he has reached the upper limit of money. Although there are still many options in gray, Tang Zhe is much more at ease. His golden finger has been credited. Exiting the interface, the sound from around returned to Tang Zhe's ears. Seeing that the passengers around him didn't even glance at him from multiple angles, Tang Zhe completely calmed down and leaned back in his seat to breathe. Now he had the leisure to carefully check the phone in his hand. I don't know if it was due to a new phone or the impact of his time traveling. There was almost no content on the phone, the photo album was empty, and the only contact person was actually my father and mother. I don't know if it's because I really don't have any classmates or friends, or if my identity as a juvenile delinquent has caused my past social relationships to be almost severed. There was only one email from my father in the mailbox, in which he described in a cold and formulaic tone the accommodation he had found in Tokyo, stating that it was a store owned by a well-connected old classmate with a living attic. The old classmate currently lives abroad, and the store is managed by family members and staff. The attic is completely vacant and can be lent to him for a year, 
which is very close to his new school. For his son who is about to live alone in Tokyo, the letter only contains two cold sentences. During observation, regularly contact the reviewing officials and remember to abide by the rules properly, and, don't cause trouble to others this year, avoid causing trouble, and you won't have a second chance if something happens. What? Tang Ze flipped through the email line by line, feeling more and more punches as he read. Is this really something that my father can write? Not only was the relationship cold, but his tone was as if he had a grudge, as if he were truly an incurable criminal. Tang Ze took a few deep breaths, suppressed the anger that came out, and continued to search. Finally, he saw the address of his destination at the end of the email. Polo Cafe, Number 39, 5.chom, Mihuacho, Tokyo. Tang Ze stared at the address and fell silent. What he should have thought of long ago is that sleeping in the CAFA attic is probably some kind of fixed design that cannot be changed. Isn't that a coincidence? There's a CAFA downstairs from the Maori detective office. If I remember correctly, when the plot progresses to the main storyline, and sure too should come to the coffee shop to work. That is to say, he is about to become a classmate of Muri Ran and Shinichi Kudo, a neighbor of Muri Ran, and a colleague of Yasudo. How could that be so? JPG according to the plot of Conan's urination, the suspect, the deceased, and the murderer must have won, otherwise it would be impolite. If you think carefully, his current setting is particularly suitable for being a murderer. Injustice, being thrown out like garbage and living alone, severing social relationships, these people full of grievances and resentment are simply the chosen culprits, determined to take revenge on society. When the deceased, it depends on whether the group of people who falsely accused him will regard the original owner's case as a stain on the handle. Roughly counting, the involved legislator, the female staff rescued by the original owner, the police and prosecutors involved in the case, there is no innocent link from top to bottom. The suspect is even simpler. Based on his resume, if he is not searched, he will be selected three times, one to four or five times, all of which belittle the value of seriously harming juvenile offenders. Just as Tang Zhe's mind was diverging, the broadcast of the upcoming Shibuya station pulled his attention back. The final stop of this tram is Shibuya, he should get off and transfer to Mihua town. End of this chapter. Why is Bourbon here in chapter 2? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Why is Bourbon here in chapter 2? It was already two hours later when Tang Zhe struggled to reach the Mihua station. Although Tang Zhe was not Japanese before the crossing, he had stayed in Tokyo. He had some psychological expectations about the trouble of taking the subway in Japan and how May Shibuya Station would be. As a result, he couldn't figure out how to modify the underground subway in the world of Kushua. He completely underestimated the time spent on the way, and by the time he found the Polo Cafe all the way, it was already over 2 p.m. in the afternoon. In theory, he still has to go to Daidan High School to complete the enrollment procedures today, and this delay is likely to miss dinner. He silently mourned for two seconds for the faint pain in his stomach, and Tang Zhe pushed open the door of the Polo CAFA. At this moment, there are still three or two customers in the store. Two waiters are standing behind the long bar, talking to the customers. When they hear the door being pushed open, everyone looks at Tang Zhe together. Dot. Tang Zhe looked up and saw the two of them, his heart thumping. The girl with long hair on the left is gentle and friendly, probably the waiter in Omoto, who is a resident coffee shop in the manga, the problem is, the man on the right has a very representative appearance. He is a handsome guy with wheat skin and short golden hair, and ten people who have seen Conan can call him by his name at once. Why is Ensure 2 here? After seeing Tang Zhe push open the door and stand at the door without any movement, looking very confused, Inomoto Z carefully examined him, his gaze shifting from his school uniform to his special hair color and blue eyes. Ah! With his right hand clenching his fist and lightly tapping his palm, Inomoto Z's face suddenly realized. Are you the high school student that the boss said you were? 
Mr. Tang Zizhou. Tang Zhe regained his senses and bowed like a conditioned reflex, saying, Sorry, I was impolite. When we first met, I was Tang Zizhou who came here to stay. Please advise me more in the future. His almost instinctive standard of first sight made Inomoto Z smile. A bit surprised and nervous, Tang Zizhou seemed like a reserved, inexperienced, and socially unsociable little social anxiety. Isn't it quite cute? She whispered to Ensure Tu, tilting her head. At this moment, Ensure Tu was also carefully examining Tang Zhe. Upon hearing this, he put on a friendly smile and waved at Tang Zhe, saying, Don't be nervous, the boss has informed us. My name is Ensure Tu, and this is Inomoto Z. We are the staff here. Please give us more guidance in the future. Tang Zhe looked at his sunny smile, secretly adjusting his breath to calm his startled heart rate. He then smiled back at an room and walked into the store. And beneath his calm expression at this moment was the heart of the stormy waves. What's going on? Has the plot on Conan's side already advanced a lot? At the time when Yasudo came to work in the Polo Cafe, Shuichi Akai had turned into Aiea. But he remembered glimpsing the newspaper on the way, which clearly had read headlines like, High School Detective Shinichi Kudo Solving Another Mystery Case, and Kudo was still active. So, Unsure exposed him not good, his boarding life has been very bad since the first day. We received your personal belongings yesterday and helped you put them upstairs. Inomoto Z pointed to the wooden staircase behind the bar and instructed Tang Ze, you can go up and tidy up and rest first. If you need any help, you can come to us. Inomoto Z, who believed that Tang Ze had some social anxiety, was worried that he would become more nervous if the guests continued to watch him, so she thoughtfully found a reason for him to leave. Thank you very much, but I have been delayed for too long on the way and won't be able to apply for admission in time. Can you give me the certificate of boarding first? Tang Ze hesitated for a moment, unsure if Inomoto and his team knew his identity, and only used the word boarding tactfully. What he really wants is a volunteer certificate for guardianship review during the observation protection period, because Tang Zizhao is now a probationary prisoner, and volunteers must act as temporary guardians and communicate with the school to provide a certificate, ensuring that they will be responsible for taking care of and maintaining contact and reporting regularly. Only then will high school be willing to accept young offenders like this hot potato. Certificate Inomoto Zizi repeated in confusion, seemingly not quite understanding the situation of Tang Zizhou. And Shu Tu next to him took over the conversation and said, Ah, is that the residence certificate? Give it to me, the boss has explained it to me. Are you transferring to Emperor Dan High School, right? It's not far from here, I can accompany you there. Tang Zhe turned his head and met and Shu's purple gray eyes. From the smile on the other person's face, it can be seen that Yasudo was completely aware of what he had just said. Tang Zhe looked at the customers in the store and whispered, It's still operating hours, doesn't it matter? It's okay, I'm busy coming over alone now. Inomoto quickly pushed Yasushi out towards the bar, Mr. Yasushi, please take him over quickly. So Tang Zhe stood obediently on the side, waiting for Ensure to take off the barista's apron, put on his coat, and go out, following behind him obediently. But in fact, Tang Zhe's hands holding the commuter bag were almost digging into the fabric. Good guy, he called out, good guy, directly. Inomoto Z may have thought that Tang Zhe only needed a proof of residential address or something, but Tang Zhe was well aware that what he needed was a supervisor to connect with the school, and no one else could handle it. So after a while, his temporary guardian is not the undisclosed mysterious coffee shop owner, but Ensure too, right? Thinking of this, Tang Zhe, who was standing behind Ensure too, lowered his head and stared at the shadow under Enshidu's feet, afraid that he might show an inappropriate expression and be exposed by this sharp fake wine. That's it, Kudo Shinichi hasn't been beaten yet. Tang Zhao's distillery has surfaced first. Yes, it must be a distillery. No matter what the true purpose of this vest doll is, 
when he uses the social identity of an sure two for activities, it represents that his surface starting point of action must be as a member of the organization code of Bo Ben. In the original plot, Toshio Anji went to work at the Polo Cafe, and the reason was also because Polo wanted to investigate the Maori Detective Agency. And Bourbon would not come to the CAFA to serve as a guardian for high school students for no reason, which indicates that Tang Zizhao must have had some connection with the distillery, which led to the early triggering of the Bourbon work plot. You seem very nervous, Tang Zhe, classmate. And Shu Tu suddenly turned around and looked at Tang Zhe, whose head was hanging down and could only see the top of his hair, and said in a voice. Yes, yes, I'm sorry, Tang Zhe continued to maintain his social anxiety persona and answered at a very low volume, while raising his head 30 degrees and staring at an Shih Tzu's sleeve. Tang Zhe's memories of the past decade or so are still very vague, except for a few fragmented memory fragments that are more specific. He doesn't even remember the names of his parents and has no idea what personality Tang Zhao used to have. And Shi Tu knows more about iron than Tang Zhe now, and with his style of fake wine, he wouldn't easily come into contact with Tang Zhao without thoroughly investigating his ancestors for 18 generations. Tang Zhe decided to use his personal understanding. After all, a unlucky child who was falsely accused of a criminal record, even if he used to be a socialite with full interpersonal skills, now that he is autistic, it is still a big deal, right? And Shi Tu still smiled and spoke with a relaxed and easygoing tone, it's okay, Tang Zhe. I understand your situation in general. The boss is not in China all year round, so I will be responsible for your guardianship work for the next year. I knew it was like this. Tang Zhe remained silent for a moment, not following his topic. If he handed over the initiative of the conversation to An Shih Tu, he might have entered a cycle of Klitsch A.S., but guess what? I don't know as much as you do. He turned to ask, so, Miss Inomoto, or anyone else in the store knows about it, right? Tang Zhe spoke a question, but in a positive declarative tone, his gloomy tone made An Shih's eyebrows furrow. After all, An Shih Tu has a blood-red side in his heart, and he mostly takes care of and cares for sensitive teenagers. When Tang Zhe shows such an injured posture, he certainly cannot continue to talk nonsense, but comforts, no, the boss only told me about it. You can rest assured to live here, and we will protect your privacy. Don't worry. On the way out of the CAFA, Tang Zhe brainstormed and quickly decided on the next character for himself. He also began to follow the predetermined character template, sneering at himself with a low and sarcastic tone, directly pointing out the term that An Shih Tu had been trying to avoid. That's right. If you know that the CAFA houses juvenile delinquents with a focus on injury crimes, it will affect your reputation and it will be difficult to do business, right? An Shih's eyebrows furrowed. How could that be? Don't think so, Tang Zhe. I will try my best not to make it difficult for everyone, please rest assured. Tang Zhe continued to speak on his own, his brows and eyes lowered. Although his head had been raised, his gaze was very low, and his long eyelashes covered his bright blue eyes. I will be well behaved, as long as I stay for a year, I won't cause any trouble for you. His extremely negative and self-destructive demeanor really made An Shih Tu unable to talk about the topic he wanted to ask at the beginning, so he had to talk about Tang Zhe's future school, Emperor Dan High School. Dai Dan High School is also a famous school in the city, with a high admission rate. Transferring to another school is not a bad thing, maybe it will be more beneficial for future academic exams. An Shih Tu changed his wording to a softer one. If it started off as a normal conversation for middle school students, it now means a bit of teasing them. The atmosphere here is very good for students, you can relax a bit. Tang Zhe finally raised his gaze and met An Shida's eyes for the first time along the way. His lips moved, as if he didn't quite agree with Yasuhiro's evaluation, but in the end he didn't speak and just tightly pursed his lips. Tang Zhe's current idea is, you can fool outsiders. Do you still have a good interpersonal atmosphere in Mihua town? Really? I don't believe it. 
civilized and polite Mihua town, right? Tang Zhe had done this expression on the tram before. When he forcefully raised the corners of his mouth, his cheeks would bulge very round, like a bit of baby fat that had not faded. Although he himself was indeed very serious, others would only feel cute. Tang Zhe didn't deliberately pretend to be tender, he just hasn't adapted to this new face yet and doesn't know how to use it. But the opposite is that Yasuhiro couldn't resist reaching out to rub his head with his hand. Relax, there's nothing to worry about. That's Daidan High School over there, it's very close, isn't it? Tang Zhe followed the direction pointed by An Shur and saw the carving of the name of Emperor Dan High School across the street ahead. Speaking of which, the protagonist of P5 attended Hideyoshi High School, which is a pun. Hideyoshi and prisoner are pronounced together in Japanese, representing the protagonist so dot called fate as a prisoner. Daidan High School is also a homophonic pun. Daidan's pronunciation is T Tan, which is the reverse order of the detective's Tan T. I can't live with the harmonious sound meme in this lifetime, can I? He tried hard to roast, but Tang Zhe followed and sure too quietly and walked into this famous landmark of two spined salamander. Underscore. Angle, underscore newcomers and new works, collect, recommend, and follow up on anything. Here's some, autumn pear paste, end of this chapter. Chapter 3. Kudo Shinichi's Mischievous, Crying. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3. Kudo Shinichi's Mischievous, Crying, Daidan High School looks like a very ordinary standard Japanese high school. Of course, Tang Zhe doesn't really know much about Japanese high schools, but as long as he doesn't have a big nose physical education teacher jumping on his face and giving him a small P5 plot shock, in his eyes it can be considered an ordinary high school. Today is a day off, and there are no students walking around in the school, it's very quiet. Tang Zhe took out the black folder from his bag and handed several documents inside to ensure two one by one. He led each office to write applications, bow, write applications, stamp, bow, and write applications. Due to Tang Zhejiao's special circumstances, he is more troublesome than ordinary transfer students. After all, his previous academic record was lost as he was dropped out, and he had to write one form after another. Just writing documents took more than an hour. The good news is that he now barely knows some of his original family information because there are some pre-filled information on the application materials. Tang Zhejiao's father's name is Tang Zhe Chuan, and his mother's name is Tang Zili Ayana. As expected, he is of mixed race. Living in Kyoto I already knew about this before. Tang Zhe found a JR ticket stub from Kyoto to Tokyo in his bag. He was 18 years old and originally attended Kyoto Chuanshin High School. It's a bit familiar, but it doesn't matter. He's already living downstairs from Conan, and his guardians are all in charge. What more outrageous buff could there be? He wants to broaden his horizons. It wasn't until Tang Zhe saw the names of his parents that the appearance of this couple flashed through his mind. Although he still had no memories of his original relationship with his parents, he remembered that both Tang Zhe and his wife were scholars living abroad. Tang Zhejiao was left by them on the island to attend school, and they had a close relationship with his parents. Even when Tang Zhejiao was involved in a criminal lawsuit, his parents did not come back to handle it. Instead, they found a lawyer to fully entrust their participation. They were sentenced to prison in a group of unfamiliar adults working together without any room for resistance. It's really outrageous. After signing the name of the last document, Tang Zhe held a thin piece of paper and gazed at the names of his parents in the form, feeling emotional in his heart. Looking back from his perspective, the entire process of being falsely accused had no rigorous conspiracy calculations at all. It was simple and crude to collude with confessions and forge physical evidence, and the case was completed. There is indeed no need to resort to any means. The only guardian on the same front as him did not show up throughout the entire process. As a minor, there was no channel for voice or any means of seeking help. 
Even the privacy law protecting minors has turned into the best barrier to cover up public attention. It is really easy to crush a high school student. Considering the possibility of involving the distillery, the truth is even harder to tell. It's hard to tell where the Tang Zhe couple are now and whether they are still alive. What's wrong? Is there a problem with filling out the form? As soon as I came out of the principal's office, and Sher Tu saw Tang Zhe holding a paper in a daze and came over to look at the form in his hand. It's nothing, everything is written. Tang Zhe maintained his persona with dedication, his face full of, clearly there's something, and answered calmly, pretending to be concerned. I really trouble you for running around about my business for so long. And Shu Tu took the thick stack of documents from his hand and smiled nonchalantly, saying, since we have agreed to the request, then this is what the guardian should do. You don't need to be polite. Is it what guardians should do? Dot. Tang Zhe muttered softly. And Shito naturally heard his self-talk. He quickly scanned the table placed on the first page and immediately saw the family relationship section written at the beginning. And Shu Tu, who has accepted Tang Zhe's persona of being abandoned by his family and society, has become autistic and even somewhat sinister, has received Tang Zhe's message well. It's really pitiful, Tang Zhezhou. And Shizuru, who knew the cause and effect, sighed silently. It's really pitiful, Tang Zhezhou. Tang Zhe, who didn't know the cause and effect, also sighed. The two nesting dolls reached a consensus in the dark and left the school in a good atmosphere. This is the key to the CAFA, and it belongs to the attic. After all, the CAFA will always be open. Remember to lock the attic when you go out and pay attention to safety. When the two of them returned to the CAFA, it was close to work time. After tidying up the CAFA and preparing to close, and Shu Tu took out two keys and handed them to Tang Zhe, briefly introducing the situation of the CAFA. Tang Zhe was originally listening attentively, but as he listened, he couldn't help but start to lose focus. Because two figures, one tall and one short, were walking towards them from the opposite direction, and their shadows stretched long in the dusk. The tall one is a slender girl with a soft and beautiful appearance, black hair reaching her waist, while the short one is a little boy wearing a blue suit, a bow tie, and big glasses. Two people walked hand in hand towards each other, brushing past him and Yasudo, then turned around and walked towards the stairs next to the Polo CAFA. That's right. So, Tang Zhe corrected his previous ideas. It's not that Kudo Shinichi hasn't been beaten yet, but Tang Zhezhou's distillery has surfaced first, but it was Kudo Shinichi being beaten while Tang Zhezhou's distillery emerged from the water. All day long, today is the starting point of Conan's plot, isn't it? When Tang Zhe just woke up on the tram, Kudo Shinichi probably happened to walk into Dorobika Park. Glancing at the two people going upstairs in the remaining light, Tang Zhe regained his attention and took the key handed over by An Shu. You go upstairs to tidy up your things and rest well, said An Shu as Tang Zhe lowered his head and fiddled with the two keys to find a place to string them together. Tang Zhe quickly dodged. What's going on, Bourbon? You can act as you please, but don't keep scratching people's heads. And sure, who was dodged by Tang Zhe, was taken aback for a moment and looked at him with great interest, saying, you react quickly. Tang Zhe really wanted to come up with two classic lines about whether touching his head will make him tall or not, but considering that it didn't fit the newly created character, he restrained himself and turned his head into the coffee shop, saying, then I'll go rest first. Take a good rest, see you tomorrow. Classmate Tang Zhe. Watching Tang Zhe walk slowly upstairs, and Shitu's smile narrowed. He turned around and walked towards his car, taking out his phone to edit emails. The target has been contacted as planned, but no information files mentioned in the intelligence were found in the target's personal belongings and luggage. Do you want to continue as planned? Click on send and he opens another hidden encrypted email interface to edit the second item. Is there any feedback from Kyoto? How many details have been investigated about Tang Zhezhou's case? 
check the condition of the vehicle, check for any monitoring and signaling equipment, proficiently complete the previous steps, and finally open the door of the Mazda RX-7 and sit in the driver's cab. Starting the car, he waited for replies from both emails while staring at the unlit Polo CAFA. In the pitch-black coffee shop, only the stairs behind the bar exuded a slight warm yellow light. Tang Zhao probably closed the door above tightly, making it difficult to see what he was doing directly. Tang Zhao is a special high school juvenile delinquent. Juvenile offenders who commit serious injury crimes are already very rare, and such sentencing on minors basically represents cases of malignant violent crimes, and must also be of a serious nature. But as a result, while causing serious harm, a protective observation punishment was imposed, and people were transferred from Kansai to Tokyo to pass the protective observation period. Is the judgment and handling of the entire case really compliant? Unfortunately, he is still the target of the organization's attention. How many organizational interference results have this judgment had? Damn it, has the police and prosecution departments been infiltrated so severely? While he was feeling unhappy and silently organizing the current information, replies from both sides arrived. The plan remains unchanged. Keep in touch and observe, and gain the trust of the target as soon as possible. He is the only person who has the possibility of knowing the direction of the information. Pay attention to his interpersonal relationships, and the target is in the sight of multiple parties. Unless there is confidence in not alerting the police, do not use interrogation methods lightly. There is no new news from the Kyoto Metropolitan Police Agency. The supervising police and prosecutors have registered Ishiwaji Ichiro and Sato Ken as members of the Kyoto Search Division in the records, but both parties deny any involvement in the case. Mr. Jianya, the biggest breakthrough at present is still Tang Zizhao himself after flipping through two emails, and Shur shook his head and cleared them one by one. What a tricky guy. How did a student get into such a big trouble? And Shur integrated the content he had mastered through his mind, making it increasingly difficult to understand. Why is the organization targeting him? However, this is also an opportunity that cannot be missed. What does the organization want from him, and what is that information? This is a good opportunity to find loopholes and explore the true purpose and layout of the organization. Wishing us all good luck, Tang Ze, sighed and sure too as he stepped on the accelerator and rushed out. The undercover gentleman who has worked three jobs now has to go to his residence to continue working overtime. End of this chapter Chapter 4 the Velvet Bar is open. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 The Velvet Bar is open The attic of the Polo CAFA is still better than the conditions of Lebron. Tang Ze, who was packing his things, was very grateful. The area is not large and there are no windows, but at least there is a serious bed and an independent bathroom, which satisfies him very much. Cold Knowledge, the bed where the protagonist sleeps in P5 is made up of several plastic baskets filled with drinks and a wooden board. The original items were packed into three cardboard boxes and first sent to the CAFA. In addition to the replacement Daidan High School uniform, there were also three or four sets of clothes for each season, including shoes, home clothes, and some stationery, but then there was nothing left. It's too strange. Is the original person a vacuum person without any personal hobbies or personal belongings? Is there any personal item that reflects past life? Think about his brand new factory made phone again. Don't just confiscate all the original things, right? Not to mention, there is a high possibility that all of Tang Zizhao's electronic devices, books, and paper have been taken away. Thinking of this, Tang Ze opened his commuter bag and took out the ledger inside. As expected, a blank new notebook. Tang Ze sighed and threw it back into his bag. It was great, perfect. No matter who did it, his business skills were outstanding and he swept it clean. Forget it, his long year of life is about to begin, and he is not in a hurry. I'm so hungry. He didn't even have lunch or dinner. 
There is a kitchen downstairs, but it's not easy to use cafeteria ingredients casually. At least we need to say hello first, right? He doesn't have anything on him either oh no, he has it on him. Tang Zhe thought of this and sat up straight. Yes, should I try my own four-dot-dimensional pocket? To prevent the cautious bourbon from installing surveillance equipment in the attic, Tang Zhe pretended to reach into his bag to explore. Then he flipped through the long list of props and selected the cheapest rice and vegetable roll. The next second, his right hand grasped the cold plastic packaging. Really good, there's something there. Tang Zhe held the cold rice and vegetable roll in front of him and pinched it. It was flexible and elastic. It was really a porcelain rice and vegetable roll. But can this kind of food with no shelf life really be eaten? To be honest, he also has the Lubrin spicy curry that has been stored for two years according to the game plot time, made every week. Not to mention eating it in reality, he hesitates to eat it in the game. After touching the stomach that was throbbing, Tang Zhe still opened the packaging, closed his eyes, and bit it down. There is no strange taste, the rice grains taste sweet and plump when bitten, and it tastes strange and delicious. Tang Zhe quickly showed off one, looked down at the size of the commuter bag, and felt that it was reasonable to hide another rice and vegetable roll, so he showed off another. It's very powerful. Let's try again and see if we can stuff something inside. If it's free to enter and exit, then he's already half invincible. There's nothing to be afraid of. For dimensional pockets, YYDS. As soon as his nerves relax, exhaustion overwhelms him, and the mental pressure brought by a day of explosive information is indescribable. Flipping out his home clothes, Tang Zhe slowly moved towards the bathroom. He is already very tired, it's time to go to bed. Blue, boundless blue spreads before my eyes. The crisp sound of wind chimes hitting and the sound of the door opening and closing came one after another. Tang Zhe opened his eyes and found himself standing in front of the dimly lit bar. The dark blue checkerboard tiles, the blue diamond patterned walls, and the bar counter covered with Klein blue tablecloths reflected by several spotlights all represent the same thing, welcome to the velvet room, this guest. The bartender standing behind the bar turned around and took a tall glass from the cup holder, making a gesture of invitation to Tang Zhe. Bar, uh. Tang Zhe raised his eyebrows with a strange expression, but still picked a high chair and sat down. Is my velvet room actually a bar? I haven't been drinking for a long time. Excellent irony, right? The blonde bartender propped up his arm and casually leaned against the bar. Tang Zhe looked at the other person, scanning from the blue jazz hat to the blue bow tie and vest. He is quite handsome, with golden hair combed into a snug back. Although he has a completely Asian soft face, his thin facial features are highlighted. This makes him appear more mature in appearance, and to guess his age, most people would say he is in his twenties, with a vintage bar background that complements his temperament and color scheme. But, anyway, it's not appropriate to let minors into bars, right? Tang Zhe leaned his particularly delicate face towards the other person. I didn't say that, guest. The velvet room is a reflection of the guest's inner world, and ordinary minors wouldn't map it out of the bar. The bartender chuckled as he leaned down on the brim of his hat and formally bowed to Tang Zhe. My name is Lion, and I am your helper. Here we go, it's time to go through the process of installing some. Tang Zhefei blinked quickly and said, So, do you want to recite those lines? What lines, such as this is the gap between dreams and reality, spirit and material? As you all know, there's no need to waste time, right? Without satisfying Tang Zhe's second heart for Tai Ben, Leon shook his head lightly and pushed the tall cup in front of him with his back hand. Ah, so you do know everything, including comics, games, time travel, and so on. Tang Zhe knocked on the empty glass, his tone not too surprised. From Lion's recent answer, it can be seen that he understood Tang Zhe's voiceover, which also represents his knowledge of Tang Zhe's true life experience. Lion nodded and admitted decisively, that's right. 
Whatever you know, I'll know. Tang Zhe breathed a sigh of relief and easily accepted this setting, even feeling lucky. It should be noted that the basic settings of the Goddesses' Tales series of games are inspired by Jungian psychology, with a strong mystical and cult color. Most characters who know the truth about the worldview are in the style of a guardian, highlighting one who does not speak human language. He chose a more relaxed position and leaned his head against his propped up palm, taking a long breath. Wow. That's great. It's torture to have to listen to the riddle person say the riddle while dreaming. Since you fully understand, let's be honest. There's no Igor here, right? Is it because this world is sewn up strangely? Igor, as the owner of the Velvet Room who has appeared in several installments of the series, is an old man with white hair and a long nose. According to the setting, he is a doll created by the embodiment of human rationality, playing a role similar to that of a wise man guiding the protagonist, connecting the scenes and telling riddles. In P5, his image also has certain key plot factors. Without this character, it can be asserted that the world Tang Zhe is in now completely deviates from the P5 plot. Lion spread out his hands and made an innocent expression. I'm not very sure, it should be this reason. But it doesn't matter, anyway, we are all destined to be off staff now. As soon as the four words, non staff members, were spoken, Tang Zhe's face immediately turned black. There's no need to mock me like this. Sorry, it wasn't intentional. Leon's smile didn't show any signs of, it wasn't intentional. He just shrugged his shoulders again, casually saying, don't worry, it's all about the, previous life, dot. Don't say it's like I've been wearing it for a long time. Yesterday, I was still doing a happy death at home. As soon as I closed my eyes, it turned into a, previous life, dot. Speaking of this, Tang Zhe remembered the games he hadn't finished playing, as well as the comics and novels he hadn't finished chasing. He couldn't help but cover his chest and feel heartbroken, I haven't played Seda 2 yet. He had no worries about food and clothing, and could retire to live as a salted fish. He quickly entered into life and graduated overnight. Who would have thought of that? But you're actually quite happy, aren't you? Without cooperating with Tang Zhe's pretentious wailing, Lion chose to directly expose his true thoughts. Tang Zhe's face stiffened, and he coughed awkwardly twice. He put down his hand and returned to his lazy sitting position, saying. Can you actually know so thoroughly? Really the sudden crossing is a natural disaster for many people who live a stable life and do not want to find excitement, but for what Tang Zilai said a stagnant pool of stagnant water, with a glimpse of the future of the tomb. He just accepted his fate and didn't like to be plain. As Tang Zhe thought about it, he instinctively caressed his now intact and smooth knee. I am your assistant, your mirror, and more importantly, your companion and accomplice. Leon lifted his hat to greet him and gestured for the empty cup in front of Tang Zhe. It's time for the bar to open, would you like a cup? So, it's been said that I won't drink anymore. I understand, so should I. Cough, yes. Not surprisingly, Lion took out a bottle of wine due to Tang Zhe's true fragrance behavior. The reddish amber liquid poured into Tang Zhe's glass, and he leaned closer to smell the rich grain aroma of the wine. He raised his eyebrows again and said, This is bourbon whiskey. Are you implying something? It's not a suggestion. Lion turned over and gave way to the wine cabinet on the back wall of the bar. It was now very empty, with only the first row of different brands of bourbon whiskies of different heights and heights. It's the only one we have right now. Because I met bourbon. Such a simple and rough reason. Tang Zhe was stunned, but still picked up his glass and took a sip. The smooth and sweet smell and the long dot awaited alcohol made him squint at the corners of his eyes, unable to control the rising corners of his mouth. Too bad, quitting alcohol is not an easy task. If I get addicted to alcohol now, I can't even buy beer. I'm still underage, Tang Zhe muttered while taking another sip of joy. Don't worry, it won't affect the real state. 
Just treat it as a reward egg, right? The nature of the reward. Encouraging me to interact with people from the black organization in order to drink more alcohol. Tang Zay disapproved and Tisk, you look down on people, right? It's just Easter eggs, just like collecting achievements. Lion naturally knew how to give Tang Zishuan Mao, and one sentence calmed him down. The platinum player Tang Zhe immediately felt respected and didn't care about this strange room function. He began to ask the core question, okay, so what is my mission? I also need to go to the cognitive world to fight and prevent the fusion of the cognitive world and the material world. P5 Tangza understands, and Conan Tangza also understands. If he sews a piece together, he will be a bit disorganized. The worldview of P5 is supernatural, although it is a psychological level supernatural, which is equivalent to concretizing human cognition into the inner world. People with the ability to influence the cognitive world can naturally influence the real world in turn, with strong symbolic significance, but that is also supernatural. The main threat of P5 at the worldview level is actually to explore the relationship between cognition and reality, and then make choices in the ending, relying on fearlessness to face reality to save the world. And Conan, although Newton's coffin was completely raised here, kicking the satellite and punching Superman, still stubbornly put on materialism in the manga, not resorting to supernatural powers, making it a natural-style detective manga. Its main storyline is espionage scenes and police and bandit scenes, with the main scenes being the battle of wits and bravery between the red and black sides. I predict, I predict your prediction, and so on. In addition, the distillery decryption three-choice competition gradually pushes the protagonist to understand the black organization and defeat it step by step. What will these two combine to form? It's very strange. Lion shook his head and denied Tang Zhe's idea, giving him the first shocking answer tonight. That's not necessary. In this world, they have long merged together. Usually updated in the afternoon, but later in the day, end of this chapter. Chapter 5 Has Ended You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Has Ended Already Fused What does that mean? Tang Zhe clenched the tall cup in his hand. Literal meaning. Leon took another glass and poured himself a glass of wine. You are also someone who understands the plot. You actually know what the world will be like after fully entering reality. And this detective world. Time is chaotic, high school students investigate homicide cases, photos of the scene are directly posted on the front page headline, Concrete is blasted with a physical hammer, and any ordinary person would be killed and killed together. Can this really be called the real world? Tang Zhe shook his glass and pondered. P5 inherits the excellent tradition of the series and has an ending branch. In addition to the serious Hada plot, P5 also provides an accomplice ending where the protagonist colludes with the big boss. In the ending of the accomplice, the world is not really destroyed but completely reduced to a manipulated chessboard, and the protagonist is addicted to the game rules of being a secret vigilante, becoming a false hero of justice that everyone praises. From this perspective, not to mention, it really has an aftertaste. The strange detective rules of Conan's world, with timelines forever stuck in a year, violate various real physical rules. This is originally an unreal world of comics. What you mean is that Conan was originally a very idealistic world. So, does the cognitive world no longer exist? Tang Zhe asked with uncertainty. Good guy, it's like saying he just finished the opening plot, happily preparing to start being a heart thief, and then the world told him that it's over. That's not true, but the boundaries are very blurry. Maybe the abilities of the two worlds can be interchanged, after all, some people can smash the load.bearing pillar with just one punch. It doesn't make sense that you can't have something special about it. If you ask me to evaluate it, they are inseparable and there is no need to distinguish. This is a part of the world. Lion also picked up his glass and took a sip. That's really impressive it seems that the cognitive world still exists, 
and the basic rules still work, but it is probably very different from the setting in his impression. In the real world, as long as it does not violate Ko Shue's worldview, he may also have the ability to partially understand the world, such as climbing a tower with bare hands, having a third eye, or a somersault jumping person picking eyeballs on their shoulder. Forget it, it's a bit cruel. Let's just use a hand knife. Kushu Esho uses a hand knife to break through 10,000 methods. I understand, this is how Kushue works. I completely understand now, Tang Ze nodded uncontrollably. So now, what should be my goal? If you don't know this answer, then I can't possibly know either. Lion didn't answer straightforwardly anymore, playing the machine for the first time. Fate is because of your ups and downs, it has left its cradle. Should you follow it to maintain it, or change it to destroy it? Now this is no longer a game or manga, it is your new life, you have to find the answer on your own. Tang Ze put down his empty glass and fell silent. To be honest, with each script having its own bias, can he really find a unified ultimate goal? Tang Ze was very confused. But Lion is right. He has supernatural powers in his left hand and two sets of scripts in his right hand. Now, he has the initiative, whether it is actively joining the vortex or escaping it. Lion didn't disturb his thoughts either, just picked up the bottle and poured him bourbon whiskey again. After the glass was filled, Tang Ze slowly found some ideas. He raised a big smile, so much so that his eyes curved, especially like those of the villain. Lion, who had watched his expression change, leaned back delicately and temporarily wanted to stay away from this guy with a face full of, I want to cause trouble. I understand now, I have to go through my unlucky protective observation period until it's over, right? But Leon, Tang Ze raised his cup and looked at Leon with an accusing gaze, didn't it be agreed not to be the Riddler? Lion also picked up the glass in front of him and asked in reverse, what do you think of the lines from earlier? Okay, it's still a bit handsome. Thank you for the compliment, cheers. The two cups collided crisply. Tang Ze drank the whiskey in a toast, and before he could taste it, he fell back into a dark dream. Hello, Xiaolan, Xiaolan. After shouting several times, Suzuki Yukiko waved her hand in front of her friend who was still lost in thought. Ah. Garden, what's wrong? Mayalalan woke up in shock, blinked and looked up. Really, why have you been distracted all day? Suzuki Yukiko turned around and patted her desk. I see you haven't been listening to class this morning. I came out of the amusement park yesterday, and Shinichi never appeared again. I didn't come to school in the morning either. Suzuki Yukiko waved her hand nonchalantly and said, Hi, maybe we've encountered another case. But I didn't answer his phone and didn't receive any news. Kudo is a busy person, the savior of the Japanese police. When he comes across a very complex case, he doesn't pay attention to anything and forgets to check his phone. Don't worry about him. Suzuki Yukiko waved his hand and tossed the topic aside, eagerly talking about the news he just inquired about. I heard that there will be a new transfer student today, he is a handsome guy. Transfer students. Muri Lan, who had no feelings for handsome guys, focused on the first half of the sentence. It's quite rare for students to transfer during the semester. Suzuki Yukiko clasped her hands and continued to fantasize about the handsome guy with a self-absorbed expression. I didn't meet the handsome and gentle school grass on the cherry blossom-covered campus path. Youth is incomplete. I didn't expect that even in my sophomore year, I could still fulfill my teenage dream. Just thinking about it makes me feel beautiful. Accustomed to her friend's promiscuous state, Mayalalan didn't disturb her happy fantasies and lowered her head to take out her phone. Sini still hasn't replied. She has been hanging high in her slightly uneasy heart since yesterday afternoon, sending another email to Shinichi urging him to call back as soon as possible. Dang 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 dang, with the bell ringing for class, Tang Ze, carrying a bag, followed the teacher step by step into the classroom of class B in the second grade. 
Turning towards the students, Tang Zhe quickly recognized Suzuki Yukiko with shining eyes and Muri ran at her back table. The features are really obvious. The teacher next to him wrote down his name in Chinese characters on the blackboard and introduced him, this is Tang Zhezhao. Starting today, he will join our class and I hope everyone can get along well. My name is Tang Zhezhao and I come from Kyoto. Please give me more guidance, Tang Zhezhao lowered his eyes and leaned slightly. Wow! Is he of mixed race? Suzuki Yukiko tightened her collar, blue eyes too. Lower your voice, Yuanzi. Seeing Tang Zhe looking at Suzuki Yuanzi, it was obvious that he heard her excited voice. Muri Lan awkwardly poked her best friend's back. Tang Zhe smiled at Suzuki Yuanzi without any concern, making Muri Ran feel that he was really a easy duck going person. Tang Zhe certainly wouldn't mind. It's better to say that the two innocent high school girls who can easily enhance their first impression with just a few smiles met at the right time. His most perfect mainline entry points are here. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 You become addicted to drama. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 You become addicted to drama Suzuki Yukiko, a true-looking dog that remains true to both the surface and the inside. She can go to the big house in the suburbs to see the handsome guy, and then encounter the serial murder case of Blizzard Villa, or she can travel across Japan with her best friend to meet a netizen, and then encounter the serial murder case of Blizzard Villa. Although the endings are always similar, her heart when looking at her face remains unchanged and unshakable. So when Conan, who couldn't wait for Xiaolan to come home from school, walked down the stairs of the office and saw Suzuki Yukiko sitting in the booth of the Polo CAFA with Muri Lan, talking gently to the boy across from him. Mayalalan was well aware of Yuanzi's temperament and listened helplessly to her awkward conversation. She turned her head and met Conan, who was lying on the glass blinking his big eyes. She quickly waved quietly to signal him to come in. It's too embarrassing, it's really embarrassing. From family background to local customs and gossip about celebrities, if you don't interrupt her, she might have to bring up the international situation and financial crisis to talk about. Tang Zhe, on the other hand, has a good temper and has been supporting him with, hmm, ah, and, really. However, Mayalalan, who accompanied him, heard his toes curl tightly and was about to crack open the floor tiles. This is my overnight child, Idagawa Conan, very cute, isn't he? Muri Lan grabbed Conan who ran over and pushed him to the table, interrupting Suzuki Yukiko's new conversation. Sister Xiaolan who are these older brothers and sisters? The fake elementary school student immediately rushed into the door, pretending to be cute and shouting in his throat. He glanced at Tang Zijuan's pretty face from the corner of his eye and sounded an alarm in his heart. He has only been two days younger, where did Chi Mian come from at Daidan High School? And Yuanzi, if you want to make a name for someone, can you not bring Xiaolan and be independent? The two high school girls didn't show much performance, and Tang Zhe was shivered by Conan first. He felt a chill as he thought of the murderers, detectives, and police officers who were going to be surrounded by fake children like this with extremely high sugar content. This is sister Suzuki Yukiko, and this is brother Tang Zhezhou. They are all classmates of the older sister, so we need to call someone Conan. Conan shouted, hmm, and continued to stare at Tang Zhe. He is also a student of Emperor Dan, but he has never heard of his name. Hey, this is the child you're talking about, quite cute. But. Suzuki Yukiko bent down and looked straight at Conan's face, her eyes slowly narrowing. Although she was also a very cute little face, she didn't know what she liked, how do I feel like this child looks a bit familiar? Oh no, UNZ has also seen what I looked like when I was a child. Conan's heart tightened as he held his glasses with a dry smile, afraid that Suzuki Yuenzi, who had been in the same class since kindergarten, would accidentally pick it off, which would make it easier to expose. A voice suddenly sounded at this moment, and it was like a heavenly melody in Conan's ear. Are these your classmates, Tang Zhe? 
And sure, wearing an apron and holding a tray, smiled kindly and walked to their table. Yes, Mr. Ungshi. This is Mori Ran, and this is Yuko Suzuki, my classmate. Conan, who had just turned his head to look at Anshido, was once again drawn back to Tang Zhe's attention because Tang Zhe's voice was noticeably lowered. He turned back and saw Tang Zhe, who had just relaxed and calm, hanging his head and gripping the fabric on his knees with ten fingers. He is very nervous, why? The little detective instinctively looked back and forth at the two of them, and instinctively began to ponder. Hello, ladies. And Shu too broadcasted a business smile and reached out to press Tang Zhe's head. I am Anshu too. Tang Zhe's classmate is currently under my care. This child is a bit introverted and doesn't like to talk to people. If someone bullies him, please remember to tell me. Tang Zhe was slapped on the back of his head, almost unable to hold his face as he entered the performance. Didn't we just hide yesterday? Is there such a grudge? Bourbon, don't press your hair and it's about to collapse. Tang Zhe, who was diligent and responsible in maintaining his character, couldn't avoid and shit his hand rubbing his head and stared at the table with a suppressed expression. Conan's gaze became increasingly suspicious. Did Mr. Ensure say something terrible? Why did Tang Zhe freeze like a cat caught on the back of its neck? Wow, Tang Zhe lives here. Even the waiter is so handsome now, Xiaolan, you are too happy. Suzuki UNZ must have noticed Ensure's handsome face with an exotic charm first. And they are all handsome mixed race guys, so amazing. UNZ. Mayalalan quickly held her down to prevent her from saying more embarrassing words. Suzuki Yukiko's dreamy murmur entered Conan's ear, but the focus was completely different. Brother Tongza, what do you mean by living here? Is the CAFA your home? Conan, relying on his elementary school identity, directly asked Tangza. Due to his height, Conan could see Tang Zhe's stunned face hanging down towards the table. With his question, Tang Zhe's expression became even dimmer, as if this sentence had stabbed him. Yes, Mr. Conan. This is now my home, Tang Zhe said with a weak and airy expression as he looked at Conan's inquiry. It's not like pretending, it's really powerless. Because Ensure too began to rub his five fingers through his hair, even if he used leather gloves, if he didn't let go, his hair would still explode due to static electricity. Almost done, you. I haven't rubbed enough yet. Tang Zhe will stay temporarily at the Polo Cafe for a year. Miss Muri is the daughter of Detective Muri upstairs, isn't she? Tang Zhe has to ask you how much trouble he has at school. She rubbed her head and let go of Tang Zhe's trembling little head with satisfaction, and her smile became much more sincere. Is that right? The guardian rubbed your head a few times and there's nothing to hide from, making it look like he's very scary. The turbulent undercurrent that they were touching their heads, in Conan's eyes, was a different scene. Tang Zhejiao seemed to be very afraid of Ensure too, with a shy and tense expression as if he had been threatened. However, it was clear that An Shirtu's words were all normal polite greetings, and theoretically, it was impossible to scare people into such a state. Unless these few sentences have other meanings in Tang Zayer. Take care of me, and remember to tell me, like a warning. Warn Tang Zhe that every move he makes will be known to An Shirtu, asking him not to act recklessly. Their relationship is more similar to that of a guard and a prisoner. If Tang Zhe heard Conan's random analysis but came up with the correct answer, he would probably be moved to tears. Finally, after half a day of acting, he didn't engage in a battle of wits and bravery with the air. Finally, someone fully accepted the character design he wanted to express. What would you like to eat and have a drink? At least in Shirtu, who remembered being at work, asked a few students, my treat, I'll treat you as a thank you for taking care of Tang Zhe. Sorry to refuse twice, the two high school girls still enthusiastically studied the menu of the CAFA. Tang Zhe took advantage of their lack of attention and looked up at Ensure too. The blue eyes with watery light and misty mist, coupled with furrowed brows, 
conveyed a painful and helpless expression. Tang Zhe silently made a perfect mouth shape. Anshur nodded and smiled, indicating that she wouldn't talk too much. It seems that he is really afraid that the identity of a juvenile delinquent will be known. Anshur pondered silently and began to ponder how to use this to gather information about the Tang Zhe case. What's going on? Compared to guards and prisoners, why are they becoming more and more like kidnappers and hostages? Conan, who was observing from the sidelines, leaned his eyes onto the table, his gaze becoming increasingly sharp. Tang Zhe, who played the whole scene, consciously achieved his goal, calmly regained his expression, and looked lovingly at the two girls whispering about the menu. It's really useful. Look at this main character, all of them are here at once. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Magician You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Magician On the second day of his journey, Tang Zhe successfully obtained the contact information of Suzuki Yuanzi, Muri Lan, and even Adagawa Conan. In Conan's explicit hints such as, Uncle Muri is a private detective and, high school student is still a minor, Tang Zhe understood and accepted the other party's unspoken intentions. Anyway, it's not him who was harmed by Feng Ping. Conan's gaze at An Shi Tu now was like looking at scum, but Tang Zhe's conscience was completely painless. Fake liquor is also liquor, it's good for Conan to stay away from him now. Tang Zhe remembers that Conan's early acting skills were really poor, and he felt that Maori Lan could suspect him five times in three days. It's better not to lose your horse at the speed of light in Bourbon. Sending off the death squad, Tang Zhe quickly rehearsed the next conversation in his heart. The groundwork is already very complete, and if you can resist trying it out, it's not like Bourbon. A big show is inevitable. Coincidentally, Tang Zhe also needs the help of An Shi Tu to test something. Your dinner. Yasudo placed the seafood pasta in front of Tang Zhe in a daze, and placed a cup of hot cocoa next to him. Tang Zhe, who had not heard any footsteps at all, was taken aback and thanked him calmly. While feeling that the undercover agent's business ability was indeed excellent, he kept saying, Thank you, but I can actually. The boss said that your food and accommodation were all in the charge of the store, and your parents should have paid for it. Don't worry. The double-paid undercover agent with multiple units reimbursement opened his eyes and told a lie, and prepared to count the invoices as high as the organization could report. In addition, you can use the kitchen of the store at will. Don't always eat cold rice and vegetable roll, which is bad for your health. Tang Zhe paused as he picked up his chopsticks and just poked the pasta. So did you really install surveillance cameras in the rooms of minors? What is the moral bottom line for public security? Ah, I'm sorry, Tang Zhe said slowly as he grabbed a chopstick of pasta and thought of another possibility. His voice was quieter, did Miss Inomoto tell you? However, Ong Shi, who was not really equipped with a monitor, was very conscientious. She nodded and said, she said that she had prepared sandwiches for you this morning, but you went to school after eating two rice and vegetable roll. Don't have too much pressure, classmate Tang Zhe. Tang Zhe first stuffed a roll of noodles into his mouth, swallowed it, and then answered, I know. How does it taste? Is my craftsmanship okay? And Shi Tu smiled and poked Tang Zhe's head buried in the plate, guessing that he would be choked by noodles in the next second, or stiff like a frightened rabbit. Why is Tang Zhe so afraid of him? I thought I had been very considerate towards my older brother since we met, and An Shi couldn't help but speculate. Did you encounter violent treatment during the trial of the case? Or did someone threaten to warn him before arriving in Tokyo? Sure enough, upon learning that the pasta was made by An Shi too, Tang Zhe stopped chewing and looked up at him in astonishment. But what Tang Zhe was roast was. Why did he poke my head again? Does my head look good? Tang Zhe looked away speechlessly and said, It's quite delicious, thank you. To be honest, An Shi Tu's cooking skills are really good. The pasta is soft and strong, and after being drizzled with caviar, 
it is even more delicious and chewy. It can only be said that every job found by the working emperor is based on his abilities. Tang Zhe picked up another chopstick. Just like it. Actually, you don't need to use so many honorifics. Am I that scary? You always seem to worry about making me unhappy. I'm not that bad-tempered, don't be afraid, we still have to get along for a long time. And Shu Tu suggested this tactfully. Conan's wary gaze of, I realize you're a bad person, naturally caught his attention. Although Bobin is indeed not a good person, Jingu Zero is also not a bad person. His harmless contact is unreasonable and has alerted Tang Zhe. And Shu Tu decided to rule out the possibility of Tang Zhe perceiving the organization's surveillance first. If Tang Zhe's restraint is due to feeling that An Shu Tu is a dangerous person, then it is necessary to consider the option of, Tang Zhezhou clearly knows that the organization is persecuting him. Tang Zhe successfully obtained his hidden temptation and decided to shift the blame to his original experience of betrayal and estrangement. Although Tang Zhe was not very familiar with it, An Shu Tu was definitely very familiar with it. So he smiled bitterly twice and said, I didn't mean to target you. I'm sorry. I just, I don't know what to do. He made a mournful expression reminiscent of heartbreaking events, hesitating to speak, hesitating to speak, and everything was in silence. In a word, if you understand, you will understand. It's up to you to make up your own mind. And sure too, who has a well-developed brain and nerves, understood it after a brief thought. After the case occurred, Tang Zizhao's notice of dropping out of school was publicly posted, and then rumors spread that he had beaten someone and caused serious injury, drunk and negligent homicide, or sexually harassed middle school students, resulting in death. Someone is deliberately destroying Tang Zizhao's old interpersonal relationships, with remarkable results. His classmates and neighbors avoided him, and his doorstep was sprayed with insulting words, and personal items placed in the school locker were maliciously damaged. It was precisely because Tang Zizhao was no longer able to live well in his original environment that he was transferred to Tokyo. You think I will treat you maliciously because of your criminal record? Someone has bullied you, right? An sure sighed and his attitude softened Tang Zhe remained silent in response. And Shitu's words reminded him of some of his original memories. The child curled up in the blanket tightly covered their ears, but couldn't stop the phone beeping in one after another. He knows exactly what those are. At first, there were doubts and concerns, then there were doubts and rejection. Now, his SNS and email only contain messages such as, murderer, and, go to hell. The once friendly friendship between classmates seems to have been completely forgotten. His gradual silence failed to quell the incident, and everything was intensifying. Someone turned his photo into black and white, labeled him as a murderer, and posted it on social media, so strangers who had never met him began to judge him. He turned into a frightened bird, trying his best to avoid everyone's gaze, because everyone walking on the road seemed to stab him with hate-filled eyes. He has had enough. Grasping the noisy phone by the pillow, Tang Zizhao threw it out with all his might. Can't you, Mr. Ensure? Tang Zhe took a deep breath, his questioning tone was very gentle, but his tears were trickling down his cheeks. Gone, those who commit cyberbullying deserve to die. Gone, he can't hold on anymore. It's a bit embarrassing to suddenly cry. Due to his past life experiences, Tang Zhe was a special talent who was good at controlling emotions and acting naturally. However, now his tear glands seemed to no longer belong to him, and the sadness and pain from Tang Zizhao impact him. He can only do his best not to let out a cry of grievance. This is an unforgettable grievance and despair for a young soul in his teens, pure emotional waves hitting Tang Zhe's heart, making him unable to resist. Tang Zhe was struggling with the collapsed emotions on his side, and in and Shida's eyes, his sudden loss of highlights and tears silently dripping were extremely convincing, as he could be described as weak, pitiful, and helpless. Of course not. Wipe your face, tears are about to fall into your face. 
and Shi sure couldn't help but turn his head and grab the towel at hand to pat Tang Zhe's face, blocking his face. I am your guardian now, and I will protect you. Tang Zhe's tears were still raging, but his heart had calmed down. Hearing in Shida's words, his heart moved and he felt like there was a door. Really? Tang Zhe said in a muffled voice, his face covered in a wet towel. I'm not someone who can deceive children. You can trust me a little more, and Shi Tu patted Tang Zhe's head. I will fulfill my duties as a guardian, it's an adult's agreement. What is the relationship between Bobin's ill intentions and his downfall to zero? The undisputed undercover agent promised without hesitation. Okay. Tang Zhe, who was clutching his towel and wiping his face randomly, protested in a muffled voice, so don't touch my head randomly. As soon as the words fell, Tang Zhe's waiting voice arrived as expected. Lion's magnetic voice rang in his ear. I am you. You are me. Here, you obtain a brand new contract, Qi is what we call it, breaking the shackles and seeking the wings of freedom, at the beginning of the magician's mask, the wind of blessings was born. To reach the end of soaring, adding more assistance. A interface popped up in front of Tang Zhe. Operation Security Room Transparency, dot. Arcana Magician Rank 1, True or False, Virtual or Real, the people under the many masks are smiling at you, just like you under the many masks. To see through the truth and sincerity, it requires wisdom, sincerity, and perhaps a flexible moral bottom line. The Thousand Layer Cake Cooking Competition is about to kick off, ready, go acquired ability, free combat, in fact, the initial draft was intended for the Justice card, but after researching for a long time, it seems that the magician is more suitable. After all, the magician is the guide card for the main character in the P series, and it is basically the first male friend's tarot, which does not violate the ancestral tradition. Also, when searching for information, I found that the P series magician card has the attribute of hopeless love, which is somewhat unlucky for others. It's better to give it to the working emperor who really lost his first love, which is appropriate. By the way, the contract term P5 sounds quite catchy when pronounced. Wow, 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 wow. Unfortunately, the Chinese translation may not be very insightful. You can find a slice to take a look at it, it looks very handsome, end of this chapter. Chapter 8 Tram Problems You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Tram Problems Cooperation Assistance is an important part of the P5 system, marked by the Tarot and Arcana cards, which are associated with the protagonist's adventure journey. Some of them are related to the main storyline, while others are optional sidelines. As the protagonist becomes more familiar with the helper, their related abilities will also be enhanced. Although it was predicted that key figures might be related to this, Tang Zhe was pleasantly surprised to be able to trigger it so quickly and effectively. But. The first thing I learned was actually free combat. Tang Zhe, who had finished wiping his face, threw away the towel and gave an sure to a strange look. Is it because his contractual direction is guardianship, so he needs to teach people self.protection first? How do you think, the most unforgettable outstanding ability of Anju Toshio is driving, right? After all, it was Newton's driving skills that would push him over and be able to fly over roofs and walls. And Shi Tu looked at the red marks on Tang Zhe's face that had been wiped by a towel with a smile, and then pushed the plate towards him. Hurry up and eat, he said. The child took two or three bites and suddenly started crying. It will make others misunderstand that what I made is difficult to swallow. Tang Zhe, who had red eyes and a red nose, looked even more childish. Although he knew he was already eighteen years old, it was inevitable that he would still use the term, child, to describe him. Tang Zhe pouted, wanting to raise a few lines, looked at the pasta, and finally picked up his chopsticks again. Eating people has a short mouth, so don't talk back for now, let alone ensure Tu's cooking is quite delicious. Feeling that Tang Zhe was slowly relaxing and unaware of his will being pulled, ensure Tu believed that the strategy was effective. 
He then asked, when the boss told me to take in juvenile delinquents, I thought there would be a difficult young delinquent to deal with. You don't seem like a criminal at all. What happened at the end? Serious injury is a very serious judgment, is it negligent injury? This is a question with a hint of inducement tendency, which makes specific assumptions for the respondent and subtly expresses the position that even if you are truly wrong, it is not a big mistake, making it easy to gain trust. In his heart, Tang Zhe gave a rating to An Shidu's interrogation skills, and his eyes turned slightly to make a recollection, briefly describing the entire case. The case is outrageous, the details are also outrageous, and the result is even more outrageous. Leaving aside the fact that the victim was drunk, it is difficult to determine whether Tang Zizhao caused his head to break and blood flow, or whether he fell from standing unsteadily. Even if it was a fight, the operation of directly detaining Tang Zizhao after completing the transcript would have been a shock to Tang Zhe for a whole year. Tang Zizhao was also subjected to multiple beatings in the detention center due to the detention of the young thug and him in the same cell. The trial process was even more heavyweight, and the victim himself did not appear in court. Tang Zizhao refused to plead guilty and was repeatedly warned and hinted that pleading guilty now could result in a lighter punishment, with him given protection and observation. If he did not plead guilty, he would have to go to a juvenile detention center. After two months of agony, Tang Zizhao, who could no longer bear it, finally wrote a confession of guilt. Tang Zhe, with pity for his original self, calmly stated in an observer's tone, flaunting a piece of pasta while speaking. By contrast, Yasudo was much more excited as he listened and clenched his fist, saying. They are breaking the law. And your parents, haven't you reported them to anyone else? Yes, what we need is a comfortable state with this fist. We can't just be angry with him. Tang Zhe looked at his clenched hand with satisfaction and reminded, my parents are both abroad, and as for others. The trial for juvenile delinquency is completely closed. There is no need to elaborate on the implied meaning, and sure fully understood it. When the verdict was issued, the case information that was supposed to be private was spread by someone, and Tang Zhe had no evidence in his hands. He also signed a confession letter, and his personal image fell to the bottom. No one would listen to him anymore. After finishing his speech, Tang Zhe picked up his cup and sipped hot cocoa. He looked at Anshur across from him, his eyes twitching and he felt that his appearance, which was about to be suffocated by his peers, was suitable for accompanying meals. Anshur too is really angry, not only about Tang Zhe's experience, but also because of these serious dereliction of duty colleagues. Unfortunately, he cannot speak from the perspective of reducing the valley to zero now, and can only say with resentment, you scum. What a useless group of tax thieves. Okay, exciting, curse a little louder. Tang Zhe, who didn't mind the hustle and bustle, chose to stir up the fire and said, perhaps it's that drunken uncle, who is a big shot. The police can only listen to what he sends. I really can't find any other reason. And sure too is indeed even more popular. Isn't that even more serious? Organizations don't need to infiltrate the police, as long as they infiltrate a few high-dot-level politicians, the police will become violent private security at their mercy. Damn it, he wants to explain to Feng Jian and must thoroughly investigate. The conversation between the two was happily reflected in one person's eyes through the sight. At the edge of the rooftop several hundred meters away, a long-haired man wearing a knitted hat moved his eyes away from the sniper's scope. He took out his vibrating phone and glanced at the caller, tapping on his headphones to connect. Xiao, how is the situation? Currently everything is normal, bourbon whiskey is in contact with the target character. And do we need to contact him? Shuichi Akai attached the sight again and watched the teenager in the sight, who was biting a straw and talking to Yasuhito. Not for the time being. Don't frighten the snake with the grass. Shuichi Akai replied, the Tang Zhe couple lost contact for two months. They may have been killed. The organization will use human and material resources to take the target away, and won't start now. He is safe for the time being. 
The plan to arrest Qin Jiu. Delay again. I'm afraid that because Tang Zizhao and his wife left the country, I have already aroused the alarm of Qin Jiu. He will not take the bait easily. The top priority is to target the safety of Tang Zizhao and Mayano's two sisters. The facilities where Mayano sisters are located are extremely secure, and Cameron has not gained anything yet. Xiao, there is not much time left for us, and they cannot endure for a long time, and no one can save them in this way. Compared with Mayano sisters, the target is a more accessible object. Shuichi Akai was silent. The person on the other end of the phone didn't speak anymore, and there was silence during the conversation. They all know what this choice means. The influence of the FBI in Japan is limited, and the actions that can be organized are limited. Mayano sisters and Tang Zizhao can only choose one side as the rescue object. Regardless of success or failure, vigilant organizations will not give them a second chance. Choosing one side means giving up on the other. Xiu. Her sigh came from her earphones, we have no other choice. She knew that both the Tang Zhe family and Mayano family had great significance for Shuichi Akai. The redirector of the railway track was in his hand, and the speeding tram was about to reach the intersection. He had to make a decision and turn the switch to one side. Let Cameron come back. Shuichi Akai's hand holding the sniper gun was very stable, and his voice could not hear any wavering. He still kept the silence of the sniper. Let me find the opportunity to contact Tang Zizhao, and Lei acted according to the mission of the organization, with more legitimate reasons. Don't you let him wait any longer. Maybe we. Don't hesitate when making a decision, let him come back. We need to develop an action plan to transfer Tang Zizhao. Received. With a crisp click, the communication ended. Shuichi Akai lay prostrate in his place, took out his mobile phone and pressed. The contact between the target and Bourbon was smooth, and no other suspicious individuals were found in the surrounding area. A few seconds later, the prompt for email reply will sound. Maintain vigilance. If abnormal movements are observed on the target, it is allowed to directly load anesthesia bullets and knock them down. Clearing his mailbox, he closed his eyes and looked through his goggles again at Tang Zhe, who was smiling towards Ensure. A few faces flashed through his mind, and there was no tremor at the muzzle. They have lost the Tang Zhe couple. I can't tolerate any more indecisiveness. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Have you slept? I can't sleep. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Have you slept? I can't sleep Tang Zhe, who climbed up the attic, didn't know that the distillery was just because of the ups and downs of their family. He lay flat peacefully and went to drink in his dream. I played a big play, although I wasn't too tired, it was quite relaxing to be able to take on the meme with Leon, who is also a spoiler. There are two drunkards sitting in the velvet bar tonight, relying on their dreams to not get drunk and blowing whiskey bottles. Tang Zhe, who was holding the bottle, slapped the bar and said, why don't you give me a driver? I don't quite approve of it, do I? What's the problem? Don't make a fuss, do you have a driver's license? Leon pushed his head away as he leaned forward. You're picking and choosing something with such practical value for your strength. It's like Conan has a driver's license to fly a plane, Tang Zhe snorted, but I haven't even entered a hall yet. It's a bit perfunctory to just leave the coop branch line. Lion shook his head and said, it's no use trying to talk to me like this. I don't have the authority to spoil the content of the coop. You should seek your own blessings. You do have intelligence, Tang Zhe said without any embarrassment of being exposed. Let me think. Tang Zhe has a draft of the list of helpers. Since there is Yasuhito, it's a bit contemptuous not to let Shuichi Akai in. Detectives like Conan costume must be on the list, but it's hard to say about the black side. Also, can people from the cheating camp such as Kid and Jingji Shen be included in the list? If they can also trigger it, he can really tarot Jingji a bit, 
Good guy, do you think I need to sneak into the distillery and give it a try? Tang Zhe changed his question direction. It's very likely that it's not just that simple. That's right, I haven't figured out why the organization is interested in Tang Zhejiao yet. Tang Zhe flicked a half-empty bottle, feeling a bit annoyed. Bourbon must know, but I didn't ask him about his position. Should I just say to him, Zero Valley, your incident has happened, dot. Lion was amused by Tang Zhe, then picked up the bottle and blew heavily, squinting his eyes in pleasure. Do you now understand the difficulty of holding the script? It's like knowing the ultimate truth of a detective novel from the beginning, not being able to tell anyone, and pretending to be the first reader with a rigorous reasoning process. Yeah, it's not easy, the scripts I got mixed up. Tang Zhe imagined that in the future, regardless of whether he infiltrated the red or black side, he would always have to hang on to his acting skills, and his temples would be in pain. If I were very critical to the organization's plan, would definitely be monitored and monitored for a long time. If I used the power of cognitive world and was discovered by the black side, I would be seriously punished. The antagonistic groups at the P5 social level, except for the two and five sons, are actually all ordinary humans. By relying solely on wise individuals, they have successfully created a series of cases that have harmed the entire society. If this power is exposed to the distillery, then the scene, we can't be so passive, we still need to find a way to infiltrate the organization. However, this way, we'll have a bit of nostalgia for the past. Tang Zhe finished speaking and lowered his head to look at his now intact legs. What do you miss? It's safer to make fake wine than real wine in the world of science, right? Leon waved and slapped Tang Zhe's head, interrupting his divergent thoughts. Tang Zhe raised his head and widened his eyes, saying, I understand the truth. Why are you slapping my head too? I just want to experience it. Leon withdrew the hand that patted him, rubbed his fingertips, and gave approval. It's not surprising that Ashikaga always likes to rub your head. The feel is really good. The next day, An Shirtu, who went to work at the coffee shop, saw Tang Zhe, who had been chasing Lion all night and rolled out of bed, feeling lethargic. Good morning, didn't you sleep well last night? You need to rest well at night, An Shir patted Tang Zhe, who was leaning in his seat. I wanted to pat my head, but considering Tang Zhe had just expressed his protest yesterday, and Shir Tu temporarily switched to patting my shoulder. Good morning, Tang Zhe replied without much energy, looking at the dark circles under An Shir's eyes. Don't educate me, you haven't slept well either, Mr. An Shir. Tang Zhe is actually okay, his sleep time is sufficient. He just drank too much in his dreams, and his past drinking history made him subconsciously think that he should have a hangover now. However, his body was very energetic, which made him not adapt well. And Shir too, on the other hand, holds multiple positions. Yesterday, due to Tang Zhe's disclosure of case information, his workload must have increased dramatically, and he doesn't know whether he has slept or not. His dark circles under his eyes are so dark that his skin cannot cover it. I have insomnia and I'm used to it. It's because I always can't sleep that I want to advise you to rest well, and sure said without blushing or jumping, feeling quite serious. Good sleep is so important, it's only after losing it that I understand. Can't sleep all the time. I can't finish the work. Tang Zhe looked sympathetically at his expression. After yawning, and sure too noticed Tang Zhe's clothes and said strangely, why are you wearing school uniforms on your day off? Good question. Tang Zhe sighed because he didn't know he was resting today when he woke up. Why is it that after a day of school, it's a day off again? You ask me who I ask, but even the residents of Kashiwa don't understand, let alone me. If it weren't for taking out his phone when he went downstairs and seeing the calendar, he would have gone out to school. I didn't bring any clothes over. I don't know what to wear. This school uniform isn't ugly either, it's pretty good, Tang Zhe said solemnly. Is this a question of whether it looks good or not? And Shirtu pressed his forehead, 
thinking that he was a miner who had been living alone for many years under domestic care and couldn't care about his poor self. Care ability. Miss Inomoto and I will take a leave to take you to the mall. Tang Ze quickly refused, no need, tell me where the nearest mall is. I can buy it myself. Mr. An, why don't you go upstairs and take a nap? You look very pale. It's rare to have the opportunity to move freely, so let go of undercover agents who haven't slept yet. Is it so bad? Unsure looked at himself in the mirror through the French window and found that he was really tired with the naked eye. Looking at the attic of the coffee shop, the attic is your personal room now, is it okay? It was originally a lounge, it's okay. I don't have many personal belongings and they are all locked in drawers. I came to the store to stay for a long time, which has already caused a lot of trouble for everyone. Tang Zhe's words are so reasonable, it would be too deliberate to ask colleagues again. Taking the opportunity to thoroughly search Tang Zhe's belongings, and sure too agreed accordingly. I'll sleep for two hours, and I'll make a new bed after use. You can go to the north side of the shopping street, where the large department store is on the other side, the Mi Hua department store. And Shu Tu gestured towards both directions and saw Tang Zhe only carrying his flat commuter bag. He asked casually, Do you have any money on you? Tang Zhe, who was so tired that he didn't forget to care about the citizens and caused people to work overtime, was moved for a second, so he decided to give him some more information he wanted. Don't worry, I have a bank card left by my parents. They make an annual payment for living expenses, and there is still a lot of balance, enough. Unsure, who was about to turn towards the stairs, stopped and naturally replied, that's good. Pay attention to safety on the way. Tang Zhe glanced at his hand inserted in his pocket, seemingly grabbing his phone and typing messages blindly. It seems that the unlucky Unsure too doesn't have time to rest anymore. Tang Zhe, who had added another wave of overtime hours, smiled and went out. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Launch of Navigation in a Different World You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Launch of Navigation in a Different World Tang Zhe looked around the Mi Hua store street and took a photo with his phone. After all, it's also a well.known location, and I'm afraid I don't know what the future is waiting for on this peaceful street. Forget it. He lives at the Polo Cafe and has no right to mock other places for their heavy yin chi. With a sigh, Tang Zhe casually picked a clothing store to stroll around. He really needs to buy clothes, as the seasonal changes here are quite unpredictable. It's definitely right to prepare more regular clothes. There are many costumes in the props column, but they are all equipment with attribute bonuses, which are used for daily use and don't match his usual style. After all, he is not a real high school student, and his dressing style leans more towards yuppie. He chooses khaki dark gray jackets, windbreakers, and black and white gray interiors. Unfortunately, my face is a bit tender, and it doesn't match well with my mature dressing style. After casually completing the shopping task, Tang Zhe walked to the newsstand to prepare to buy two newspapers. First, he observed the recent criminal case, looked at the new developments of Kudo Shinichi, and then considered where he was going today and whether he would encounter a Grim Reaper elementary school student. At this moment, a figure suddenly fell towards him in a medieval shop on the roadside. Tang Zhe immediately withdrew his steps and put on a defensive stance of boxing, only to realize that it was a thin middle dot aged man who was pushed out of the store door and stumbled backwards. Be careful. Realizing that no one was attacking, Tang Zhe helped the man who was about to fall to the ground. They all said don't bother me anymore. The chubby store manager walked out the door behind the clerk, shouting at the man with his waist crossed. The buyer has already ordered the knife, so it's impossible for him to give it to you. I'll have to say it a few times before it's enough. However, this is not yet the mortgage term agreed upon between me and Marubeni Jiro, and you have no right to sell Kikuchio. The slender man with a beard on his lips, blushing and arguing, this is a breach of contract. You mortgaged it to him, not to me, 
it's none of my business. The store manager's voice was much higher than him. If you step into the store again, I'll call the police directly. After speaking, the store manager turned his head and returned to the store, slamming the door tightly. The man supported by Tang Zhe gritted his teeth and stared at the storefront, clenching his fists tightly in his chest heaving. Obviously, intense emotions were erupting in his chest. Tang Zhe saw him stand up straight and let go of his supporting hand. The man who had regained his senses saw Tang Zhe's curious gaze and forced a smile, saying thank you. He turned around and walked towards the intersection. Tang Zhe watched as his back curved slightly and his hands clenched his fists, feeling that his emotions were becoming more and more intense as he suppressed them. Maru Chuanjiro Tang Zhe repeated in a low voice, pinching his chin with his index finger and thumb, and displaying the most classic detective thinking expression. I seem to have some impression of this name, probably some deceased or some killer. Before Tang Zhe could recall the details, his phone stuck in his pocket shook twice. Strange, is he in ringing mode? Thinking this way, Tang Zhe took out his phone and fixed his gaze, his pupils contracting. In the center of the desktop, the red and black navigation of the other world was glowing, and a window popped up. Name Marabuchi Jiro Hall Maruyuki Jiro actually has a temple. No, we need to move to a hidden place. If the input is correct, it will be fun to live on the street. Tang Zhe lifted his head and scanned the surroundings, confirming that no one had noticed him, and walked into the narrow back alley between two shops. Different World Navigation, as the name suggests, is a navigation program that allows users to enter different worlds. In the background concept of P5, there exists a storage space for the collective subconscious of humans, and when a person obtains a strong desire that can distort their surroundings, this subject will be separated from the subconscious of the masses, forming an independent space for individuals, which is the hall. These people often view a specific location as something else, and based on this imagination, the cognitive world of that location will appear in a distorted form. So this program doesn't just start as you want. You need to give it an accurate direction, which is who the main body of the hall is, which location it has twisted into what shape. Since the name Maruchuanjiro can elicit a response from the app, it indicates that this person has a reputation. Tang Zhe then began to carefully search for this name in his memory, and combined with the dispute between the man and the clerk just now, he quickly located a case. Marabaniro Jiro is Conan's top high dot risk profession and president. As a wealthy man with a company in his hands, he has a strange hobby of lending at high interest rates, and he sold many collateral without authorization even before the borrower defaulted on the loan. The guy who had just become furious should be the culprit of this case. Sua Shirzwa, a skilled swordsman, sold his family's famous sword, Kikuchio, without authorization by Maruyuki Jiro, and in a fit of anger, he caused a heart-wrenching sensation. However, what is even more outrageous about Conan's case is the flashy death information. For example, this Marabuchi Jiro, who was stabbed in the back with a knife, was so desperate that he picked up the knife and carved the name of the murderer on the cabinet with a knife mark. That's a cabinet that's one person tall. Do you have the strength to chop down the cabinet, or do you think you can save the murderer with a single blow, or make an effort to crawl out of the room? After careful calculation, the time left for Tang Zhe is limited. When Maori Ziaolang receives the commission to come to his door, the owner of this temple is beyond rescue under the radiation of the death god aura. Thinking of the general case, Tang Zhe guessed and entered a line of words in the second box. Location Maru family, no error reported, that is indeed this case. There's only one last question left. What does Marabaniro see as his family? Tang Zhe tentatively entered several terms in the location column, such as banks, vaults, safes, and other places related to money. However, he was unsuccessful and tried some entertainment places, such as clubs and bars, but only received feedback that the location did not exist. Ah, guessing blindly is still a bit difficult, Tang Zhe muttered to himself, continuing to recall the details. Yes, 
He has the impression that this family is very wealthy because they live in a Japanese-style house with a courtyard, and there are many servants at home, indicating that the owner is either rich or noble. But since our home is a traditional Japanese building, perhaps it could be some Japanese architecture. After changing direction, Tang Zhe tried several more times, pondered for a moment, and had an idea. Positioning Daimyo House Furnishings, as the last Chinese character entered the box, the electronic female voice of the tablet was heard from the phone speaker. The location has been locked, navigation is currently active. His gaze fluctuated almost imperceptibly, and Tang Zhe let out his breath and walked out of the alley, probing his head and mind. Sure enough, the bustling commercial street outside the alley was now empty and completely quiet. After observing for a while, Tang Zhe came out of the alley and finally could force him loudly. A person who puts money in his pocket feels like a daimyo, he's really shameless, Marabuchi Jiro. Tang Zhe sked twice and looked at the world navigation with a roadmap on the screen, walking towards his destination. What Tang Zhe didn't know was that in the building a hundred meters away, Shuichi Akai stared at the alley where he entered, and saw that no one had come out, frowning. The confidence of a top sniper allowed him to confirm that there was no one in the shadow at the end of the alley. Target out of sight. Is there anyone else stationed near the target? Yes, completely out of sight. The target is highly likely to have a keen anti-reconnaissance awareness, and the person being tracked or controlled may have been detected. Let them withdraw. He should have discovered and avoided us, and continuing to track is meaningless. Just leave the monitoring matter to me. Shuichi Akai gave instructions, but his eyebrows did not open. How did Tang Zhe completely shake off everyone, including his commanding sniper, in just a few minutes? End of this chapter